you should never eat koala. It's, quite, it's quite a bit like sloth. <laughs> you know, sl sloths are rather lovely, you know. Uh, yeah, they're, are they yummy? Sloth? <laughs> <laughs>
but not physically. Yeah. So it seems to have lost, lost its its currency or its context. So if I've learned anything from this experience, is that I'm going to inquire what a sloth is, how tasty a sloth is. <laughs> uh, First of all, can you eat it? And secondly, what does it taste like? And is it worth it? <laughs> and then, is it worth, is it worth it? Don't feel for me. Do you sometimes feel bad they, that you show them in such a cool way? I feel bad that they die. Um, Henry Golding's character, Old Dryer, I'm very upset that I've got rid of him because I, I, I know what to do with that character, right? I can really run with that character and I'm upset he's dead. So I regret that. Um, rather like I don't know what political correctness means I don't really know what cool means either for young filmmakers the Berliner God fucking oh. hell you are quite strict you are you? The one way. Um, the I quite like you you're, 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 you're very German <laughs> yeah quite you're German, German. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the start watch that's, that's enough <laughs> do you sometimes remember uh, when you started making movies and what's the difference now if, if it's m much easier or is it sometimes even harder because you know people expect so much and and you want to surprise them because it's always to make a plot twist it's uh, do you have the feeling it's it's harder to surprise the audience um i don't know i mean the movie business is going through a transitional but it always has been process and you know there seems like there's some version of room mm -hmm. if a or the myriad of different expressions. Mm. It, it's, it's, you know, the, the lion's share of entertainment has been consumed by a particular strategy. And there's a good side to that and a bad side of that. I just, I just don't, I, I thought um, Martin Scorsese wrote a very interesting, you read that Martin Scorsese. Mm -hmm. uh, I, thought it was, I, thought, I thought it was very articulate. You know, and he had a very valid point. But it just seems as though cinema's broad enough mm. to accept all these different expressions and it will be what it will be, right? I do quite like people that have, that declare, that put a flag in the sand and goes, this is what I think. <laughs> I'm not sure if I agree with them, but I say, I was like, oh, that's interesting. You know, people have points, right? And people are allowed to have a perspective, a sort of philosophical perspective on, on the movie business. All I can say is it, it was, it's, it's very hard mm -hmm. to make films. Uh, it's, it's very hard. Der Löwe überlebt im Dschungel nicht, indem er so tut, als wäre er der König. Er muss der König sein. Genial! You have a lot of fans in Germany, so um, is it possible to have a German Guy Ritchie movie? Well, I'm a big fan of Germany, by the way. Hmm. Maybe a story of a sloth-eating German? Well, yeah, but you're into sort of a very... You're into sort of... Uh, I'm a big fan of Jews and Germans, right? I, I don't know what went wrong with that relationship, but <laughs> in a way, it should be the perfect marriage. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, Germans, I mean, Europe without Germany. We're in the middle. Yeah, but there is no Europe without Germany. Really, yeah. <laughs> right, so, and everyone has to respect that fact, right? That you guys keep the whole fucking thing running. <laughs> and yeah. sometimes that's. It's hard. Well, no, never mind it well, being I'm hard. Italian, I live in Germany, but I was right, born in but, Germany. Yeah, but we understand that these yeah. cats keep the fucking <laughs> show on the road, right? Yeah. Er hat also einen umgebracht. Nein, eigentlich war das eher die Schwerkraft. <laughs>